All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and get started so people can move along with their day. And uh, if you will, uh, please allow me, if, you, if you'll bow your heads, we'll say a quick, player, a quick prayer as we, as we get ready to roll. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for looking after us today and this week as we've traveled, looking over our loved ones as we've been away. Uh, thank you for all the advocates that come in here to, to work with us on their mission and continue to give us a light that we follow that that put paves away for what's better for Alabama. Continue to watch us throughout this weekend and please be with our troops overseas. Your name pray. Amen. Clerk, clerk call roll. Here. Faulkner? Here. Boyd? Here. Allman? Here. Clark? Here. Daniel? Here. Sprinkle? Here. Thor? Here. Diane? Here. Stringer? Here. Warren? Here. Dean Woodlitz? Here. R. Woodlitz? Matt Woodlitz? Here. Richie Horton. Here. Here. Woodlitz. All right. We have, we have a quorum. And before we get started, I just want to welcome and congratulate and, uh, our newest member, Mr. Richie Wharton. So he prepared five to ten minutes. He wanted to speak on things, but I'm really good. Well, we're glad to have you here, and um, he'll be filling the seat vacated by our good friend, Center West Kitchen. So, thank you for being willing to serve in, in this capacity, Richie. Just a couple of footnotes before we get started. Uh, thank you for advocates that are here today. Since our first meeting, just a touch, uh, we will be following the same procedures as last year, where we'll be working through the committee and working through our office for uh, bills to enter the calendar once we enter the special order calendar phase. Um, we'll have our, our good friend from, from Tuscaloosa, Cynthia Allman, handling resolutions. So if you have an issue with a resolution, certainly uh, go talk with her and get her input on on those steps we will be uh, moving through uh, we we're on our just finished our sixth day so we'll be moving a little faster as we get going into next week so uh, my office is open all the time so please uh, reach through Tara as, as usual to set up a time where you may need to meet something that that has a, a rules um, assessment coming up so uh, just uh, same as last year but rolling into Tuesday so those of you are concerned about the calendar we will be using the regular order calendar on Tuesday and most likely roll into a special order calendar after Tuesday. So so those of you that do not have a regular order calendar uh, should be updated online. And if you can't get that, certainly reach out to my office and we'll, we'll get that for you. So our orders of business today will be resolutions and resolutions only. And we'll be reading through the resolutions. The first set we will uh, vote on in bulk. And then after those, we'll have to do them individually and we'll our motion in a second and a vote from a voice vote from us to, to get through those. So any questions before we begin? All right, Representative Baldwin. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. We first have HJR 6 by Representative Kill, HJR 7 by Representative Clark, HJR 11 by... Can I ask a question? We adopted HJR 11 that day. I remember distinctly calling for the vote, but it's not... A we did do that one out of out of order and brought it in there so we can so we can we can omit that one okay thank you mr Thanks thanks to bring astute astute you are astute you are that's that's one word <laughs> HJR 14 by Representative Clark, HJR 17 by Representative Halsey, HJR 23 by Representative Pringle, HJR 33 by Representative Shedd, and I do believe we have a typo in that one that needs to be fixed, but we can probably do that later. HJR 34 by Representative Shedd, HJR 35 by Representative Blackshear, HJR 36 by Representative Sells, SJR 4 by Senator Stewart, SJR 6 by Senator Melson, SJR 7 by Senator Orr, SJR 8 by Senator Allen, SJR 9 by Senator Allen, SJR 10 by Senator Singleton. Any questions? Okay, entertain a motion. 
So moved. So moved by Faulkner. Second by Soros. All in favor say aye. 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 And opposed? Okay, those are adopted. Representative Altman. And these uh, we will consider individually. HR 10 by Representative DuBose recognizing February 11th, 2024 as stomping out ALS Day and commending Emma Terry for her efforts toward ALS awareness. Okay, well, we got it. We got HR 20 at the top. Is it out of order on your list? Did I miss that one? Yes. No one's. HR. The chamber, it's not even. We just stopped like right here. Mm -hmm. Now I've got the right list. All right. Okay. All right. Any questions? Please tell us what you Lou Gehrig's, please. Yep. 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 Our, our astute member there uh, shared the enlightenment there. Okay, entertain a motion. I move. So moved by David Wood. Second by Warren. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, is adopted. Representative Allman. H.R. 12 by Representative Faulkner, re recognizing March 2024 as colorectal, colorectal Cancer Awareness Month in Alabama. So moved. So moved by Faulkner. Second. Second by Woods. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, is adopted. Representative Allman. H.R. 20 by Representative Hall, recognizing February 7th, 2024 as National Black HIV and AIDS Awareness Day. So moved. moved by Warren. Second. Second say, say by Clark. Clark. Took me a minute. I, I didn't want to call him Miss Adeline. But, um, all right. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Aye. Opposed? Okay, it passes. Representative Allman. HJR 13 by Representative. Is this the same? Yeah. It's an eight. It's a joint. Okay. HJR. HJR 13 by Representative Faulkner, recognizing March 2024 as Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month in Alabama. So moved. Second. Moved by Faulkner, second by Woods. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, it's adopted. Representative Allman. HJR 15 by Representative Shedd, extending the Joint Interim Study Commission on Grandparents Raising Grandchildren. Moved. Moved by David Wood. Second by Ms. Clark. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, it's adopted. Representative Allman. HJR 21 by Representative Reynolds, amending and reenacting Act 2023 383, HJR 204, 2023 regular session, created the Oversight Commission on Alabama Op Opioid Settlement Funds to increase the membership of the commission. Okay, entertain a motion. Question. Question by Ms. Clark. Go ahead. Any of these, except my own resolutions. Uh, what is, how will this um, change the membership of the division? It says increase from how many members? I can give you the synopsis, and um, and Ms. Almond, you can correct me. But they, with the way set up, with the way their meetings are, they're meeting with agencies, talking about their budgets, and some some things that conversations need to happen behind closed doors, and. Um, they w may violate the, the uh, sun, uh, sunshine laws, and so want to make sure that they could work as just like a committee where they could have these conversations behind closed doors, and then before they move forward, it would come before the full committee. So it's just a, a clerical uh, adjustment. Doesn't increase the That's what I thought. There was a. A couple members in there that were added. I don't know what the language specifically was. It and Solomon, if you would looking for it now. Welcome to read that. So the membership of the commission shall consist. I don't know which of these is a change, but maybe we'll figure it out as we read it. Yeah, it shall consist of all the following: the commissioner of the Department of Mental Health, the commissioner of the Department of Corrections, the director of the Board of Pardons and Paroles, the state health officer, the department. Director of Finance, an expert in programs and services for opioid treatment and abatement, appointed by the Attorney General, two experts in programs and services for opioid treatment and abatement, appointed by the Governor, an expert in programs and services for 
I cannot say that word, opioid treatment and abatement appointed by the Lieutenant Governor, an expert in programs and services for opioid treatment and abatement for veterans appointed by the Commissioner of the Department of Veterans Affairs, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the President Pro Tem of the Senate, the Chair of the State Senate Finance and Taxation General Fund Committee, the Chair of the House Ways and Means General Fund Committee, two members of the House of Representatives appointed by the Speaker of the House, two members of the Senate appointed by the President Pro Tem of the Senate, the Minority Leader of the House, of Representatives, the Minority Leader of the Senate. Appointments made pursuant to Act 2023-383 shall continue to be effective until any subsequent appointments are made. That's all I see there. I don't see, yeah. don't know what the change was. Okay. So I'm, I'm fine. You're fine with it? We're happy to, happy to get Reynolds here if you need us to. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay, entertain a motion. So moved by Sorrells. Second by Faulkner. All in favor say aye. Opposed? Okay. Is adopted. Representative Allman. HJR 25 by Representative Fiddler acknowledging the crisis at the border and supporting efforts to secure the border. Okay. Entertain a motion. Motion. Moved by Woods. Stringer, second. All in favor say aye. Aye. I just say for the record that I have not had a chance to read this and. I have to from you. Uh, we'll, we'll note your abstention. <laughs> Dr. Boyd? I have a concern, too, and I, uh, I don't know. I've been sitting up there, and I do. I agree with not having the ability. I've seen them before. But I have a problem with saying so movement here, and I'm going to say that over and over because that's not the proper way to do it. I'm going to say it. So move fuck. It should be I move that. and. I'm sorry, I'm teaching y'all. Mm -hmm. It's something that just doesn't run. You can get Robert Roots water if you want to check behind me. You should say, I move that or whatever it is instead of so move, please. I would just appreciate that. Maybe that's sure. Me. Thank you, Dr. Boyd, and appreciate your comments, and hopefully we'll polish our craft as we lead into the session. So thank you for your notes. Okay. A second by Faulkner. All right, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, it is adopted. Representative Allman. Right. Record, record notes that uh, Ms. Clark did abstain. HJR 20. And, and Daniels. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Boyd. Anybody else? All right, so we got uh, those three abstentions noted. All right, thank you, Representative Ball. HJR 27 by Representative Crawford, recognizing agricultural equipment manufacturers for right to repair initiatives. Okay, we've got a motion for adoption by Pringle. Any second? Second. Second what? Sure. I second uh, Representative Pringle's motion. Uh, you know what? We need to make it agricultural construction equipment. Yeah. It needs to be both, to be honest. That's the reason I have a bill to make it for both agricultural and construction equipment. Okay. Comments noted. We've got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Is adopted. Representative Allman. HJR 29 by Representative Hammett, naming the bridge on Alabama State Highway Route 55 that spans Pigeon Creek in Covington County, Alabama, the David Cook Memorial Bridge. Okay. Entertain a motion. Dr. Boyd? Move the adoption of, yeah. of what? Spell it out, Dr. Boyd. <laughs> We're all family in here, Dr. Boyd. <laughs> We got a motion or a second? I second the motion by Dr. Boyd for adoption of HGR 29. We got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Okay, it's adopted. Representative Allman. SJR 2 by Senator Wagner, committee appointed to notify governor that the legislature is in session. 
I move for adoption of SJR2. Okay, uh, Senator Wagner. Yep. Motion adopt. Second. Second by President Woods. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, it's adopted. Representative Allman. SJR3 by Senator Wagner, committee appointed to uh, escort governor to joint session of the legislature. I move for adoption of SJR3 by Senator Wagner. Okay, we got a motion to adopt. Okay, second by Soros. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It's adopted. Representative Allman. SJR 5 by Senator Singleton creating the Joint Interim Study Commission on Responsible Technology Purchases by Public Education. I move that SJR 5 be adopted. I think that's the correct motion now. Got you a second. Second. Say goodbye, David Woods. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? It is adopted. Representative Allman. Final one is SJR 12 by Senator Chastine, recognizing the month of May 2024 as Fanconi Anemia Awareness Month in the state of Alabama. Okay. Anybody dare to attempt an emotion? <laughs> It is a rare inherited disease characterized by multiple physical abnormalities, bone marrow failure, and a high rate of normal risk for cancer. Is that in form of a motion? I, I move adoption of SJR 12 by uh, Senator okay. Chester. Okay. Second by Warren. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. It is adopted. Any other questions or concerns from the committee? I appreciate your time today. We may not always enter here with a smile, but I hope you'll always leave here with a smile. So safe travels to everyone, and we are adjourned.